Da hello, welcome back. So for this next segment of videos, we're gonna be going over DaVinci, how to install it, set it up, utilize it, and use it to its full potential. So this is gonna be the first of three. First episode, uh, I'm gonna go over how to install and set up DaVinci. Second episode, I'm gonna go over how to set up your hotkey so that you can use it more efficiently. And the third one is going to be all about how to do the actual edits and export multiple videos at the same time. And whenever I make short form content, I literally take one day to make about two to three weeks worth of short form content i have used this technique for over the past year and a half and you can utilize that time to think about your next project or your next video idea so without saying too much let's just hop right into it so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go on over to the interwebs and google davinci result now you're gonna click on whichever site brings you to blackmagicdesign.com and then you're gonna have the option to download the free version or the paid version we're gonna be working with the free version and then once you see this you're going to click on the left one which is still the free one i apologize to all my apple users uh this will not be the tutorial for you in linux or linux if you use that i mean i don't know go see a therapist you're gonna select windows and then you're gonna fill out your information obviously i'm not about to dox myself so once you fill that out you're gonna be able to hit download now once you download it and you know where it is you're gonna create a folder where you actually want the vinky to be installed now for me i want to have it on my d hard drive so i'm gonna go on over to the hard drive and create a folder named the vinky and then you're gonna go to your original download file because it is a zip file so you're going to extract whatever is in there to the folder you just created so i'm going to extract all the files and i'm going to look for the folder that i created and then select folder and extract and then once you extracted that file you're going to see this little icon pop up in that folder that you made you're going to double click on that and you're going to see another extracting files don't worry i'll explain why in a second what this is going to do is that it's going to take you to the actual installation process so you're going to go ahead and go through the installation and then once you get to the destination folder you're gonna make sure that destination folder is the one that we created when we originally extracted the Vinci Resolve. Once I begin extracting files, you're gonna see this pop up. And this is why we created that new folder so that all of the DaVinci files that are required for DaVinci to operate go to that one folder and they're not just all over your download folder. And so once the installation is complete, open up DaVinci. You're gonna be greeted with the latest patch notes of the version that you're currently using and it'll take you through a quick setup. Very simple, very easy. You're just gonna keep everything everything 1080p hd and then you're gonna be greeted with the project media location what this folder is gonna have is all of your projects that you're currently working on or anything that you previously worked on that you have saved this is what allows you to move the projects to a different computer or share them in that same place where we made the folder to extract everything to davinci you're gonna go ahead and create a separate folder and you're just gonna name it davinci projects once that's done you're gonna hit continue it'll ask you if you've used any other editing software so that it knows what keyboard layout to give you i always just hit the vinky resolve whenever i'm installing it just because it's easier that way and then you're going to be greeted with this beauty right here now it can be a little intimidating and honestly it looks kind of boring not the point so the first thing you're gonna do is go over to the little gear on the bottom right side of your screen and it'll bring you over to the project settings you want to make sure that it's still at 1080p hd and then you're gonna change your timeline frame rate to 60. so once that's done to your cut tab uh this is strictly for cutting so then once we go over to the edit page one of the first things that i always like to do is that i like to open up my inspector this is just giving you the information of the height with everything in between for a clip along with your audio and your effect and then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hover over this little rectangle that says single viewer mode what this is going to do is well it's going to give you a single viewer mode uh instead of having two if you have two i know one side shows you the clip without the edits and the other one shows you the clip with the edits but only having one is a lot easier on your pc and then you're going to go over to the top left corner and you're gonna hit this little uh rectangle with the arrow that says shrink what that's gonna do is that it's gonna open more space for your timeline and you can also adjust how much of what you want to see and then the next thing that i'm gonna walk you guys through is your effects tab you're gonna see every effect that davinci has to offer here but you won't have access to all of them since we are using the free version what i like to do is that i like to favorite the most common effects that i know that i will be using in davinci sorry the vinky and so i don't bore you guys i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the next part which is every effect that i have selected favorited is gonna be right here you guys can go ahead and pause the video so you can take a look at it and what you can do is you can hit the little magnifying glass at the top and search for these effects i'm gonna go ahead and throw a clip in here so i can show you guys the next things that you need to do once you've thrown a clip in there you're gonna see this big blue bar in the green bar 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift and over the blue bar without clicking it or anything you're just gonna scroll down on your scroll wheel what that's gonna do is that that's gonna minimize the preview of the clip that you're editing if you don't have that minimized as you guys can see right now i'm not playing anything and it's still trying to render out the video by minimizing that you're now giving your computer more power to work with instead of giving it resources to something that you don't really need and then your audio tab you can honestly that's a matter of personal preference i like to have it a little larger just so that i know where my dead time is and i'm able to cut that and the next thing i'm going to go over with you guys are these little icons right here in the middle of your screen uh there's really only four of these that are going to be extremely useful to you or at least for you to know and that is going to be your blade what your blade does is once you select it it allows you to do multiple cuts fast and easy in order for you to activate that you either click the blade or click b on your keyboard and it'll activate that and if you want to go back to your regular mouse cursor your selection mode as they like to call it simply hit your a key or just click on the little cursor and then the next are going to be your snapping and your links what links do is whenever you throw a video into the vinci it'll have everything from that one clip that you threw into the timeline basically glued to each other and if you unselect the little chain link whenever you try to move something it's only going to move one unless you obviously select both of them and move them at the same time but to save yourself a lot of time and trouble make sure that you have that selected so that you can just move one thing and it'll move everything along with it and then the next one is going to be your snapping tool now if you don't have this selected and you cut the middle part of a video and then you try to put it together you might cut into the previous clip so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that little magnet and what that does is that whenever you get just close enough the vinky is just going to automatically snap the two clips together and then over on the right side you have your uh, detail zoom your full extend zoom and your custom zoom the one on the left basically just makes everything fit into the timeline if you want to be closer to a specific segment you go to the middle one and then you have your custom one which is just free balling it and you also have your little dot that you can move left and right to extend or shrink your timeline and the last thing that we're gonna do over on the edits page is that if you ever notice that your pc is running too slow you're gonna go over to the playback section of the vinky and then you're gonna select where it says timeline proxy resolution if your pc is struggling you can go ahead and bring it down to half and if that's still struggling bring it down to a quarter and at that point everything should work just fine for you and then just to finish everything else up you're after your edit tab you're going to have your fusion tab which is just another way to utilize effects and then you have your color tab uh, so if you're somebody who wants to get into color correction or anything of that matter you can do that from da vinci as well sorry da vinci and you have your fairlight tab which is basically just your audio tab and your delivery tab so there you go now you guys know exactly how to install and set up da vinci i apologize if i annoyed anybody by saying da vinci over and over and over again i thought it would be funny in the moment Turns out I'm annoyed at myself. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me personally. All my social media is going to be down below. And so is TNLs. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any future School of Content videos. Next episode, we're going to be going over how to set up your hotkeys so that you can be even more efficient with DaVinci. Till the next one, stay safe. Oh, and don't forget to join the Discord. Okay, bye.